Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. Last week I introduced everyone to the Stippled Roses uh, stamp set and the coordinating dies that go with them. Uh, so I thought this week I would dive into it a little bit uh, more deeply and do some cards using uh, the bundle. For this one I've also added the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder um, as a background. And I've used two of the um, deckled circle dies to cut out the greeting. And then, of course, gone ahead and added some of the purple fine shimmer gems. So let's go ahead. Uh, one thing I do want to show you in this video is how I got the different color on the stamp. So I've got most of the things done. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I did the uh, flower. So we've got the stamp and I've got my Highland Heather stamp set or uh, sorry ink pad and my uh, soft sea foam which is how I stamped the leaves and I've also got a sponge dauber that I can use in my soft sea foam. So what I need to do is I need to ink up my stamp so I'll pull it into frame. So I need to ink up my stamp and then I need to take my sponge dauber into my soft sea foam and just dab it on the leaves. It won't completely make them soft sea foam, but it definitely makes them green. So then I just stamp it down and then I have uh, a Highland Heather Rose with green leaves on it. So it is that simple to do. Uh, to change the colors on one stamp and then I just need to cut it out so I'm going to pop it onto my cutting mat here line this up like that and then put a sticky note over top of it so that it doesn't move and then I'm going to run it through my cutting machine, my Stampin' Up Cut and Boss, and roll it through. And then I have the last flower I need for my card. And I just get my sticky notes at the dollar store. Um, super inexpensive. They stick for long enough to go through the machine, but they don't stick so hard that they tear the paper. So it kind of works out really well that way. I've done three of the sets of leaves uh, with this stamp and then the die to cut it out. When I first stamped, I thought, oh, this is too light. I, I want a darker leaf. And then I realized that I needed to re-ink my stamp pad. So the stamp pads actually last quite a while, but after a while, you do need to re-ink them. So usually when I buy the stamp pad, I also buy the re-inker. So I've used the sending thanks from the set and I have uh, used, as I said, the deckled circles to create um, the, to die cut the greeting and create the mat in the Highland Heather to go behind it. This is a five and a quarter by four piece of basic white that I have run through the brick and mortar uh, embossing folder. I'm just going to line that up drop that down and you'll notice that I put adhesive around the edges because this is uh, one of the 3D folders and if you don't put adhesive around the edges it can lift and walk off your um, page. So I am going to, I want some kind of some height and some depth in this card. The first set of leaves I'm going to put down I'm not going to um, dimensionalize. I'm just going to pop this down like this. And then the next set of leaves that go down, I'm going to dimensionalize. I'm just going to put one dimensional at the top and the rest is just the stamp and seal. And then I pop this round, just trying to remember how I did this one, round like this. I think I did, yes like this and I might have to cut this tail off depending on uh, where everything lines up 
So again, I'm dimensionalizing the top and leaving the bottom flat mounted. And then this definitely needs to have the tail cut off like this. And it's going to go across the bottom. This one also needs to be trimmed. This one's going to go across the bottom like this. So you'll see how we've got a level of dimension going on. I'm now going to add in my greeting, which I will dimensionalize as well. And actually, did I dimensionalize it? Yes, I did. Sometimes I have to remember. I just made the card. You'd think I'd be able to remember from, you know, minute one to minute two. And then this is going over like this just kind of inside just like that now i'm going to take my flowers and they're all going to be dimensionalized and in some cases they're going to be dimensionalized on top of something that's already been dimensionalized and that is going to add even more layers to the depth so i'm going to start at the bottom and don't worry that this ugly tail here will be covered up. I'm going to put this like this so that it overlaps here. And then I'm going to put this one up over here so that it kind of leans into the greeting just a little bit. And then this one will go like this so that we've got layers and layers of uh, roses. And this rose is actually layered up on the greeting. So it really, really comes forward. And then I'm just going to add some of the purple faceted gems. And I'm going to use the Highland Heather ones. In this set, there's Berry Burst, Gorgeous Grape, and Highland Heather. And I'm going to use the Highland Heather ones. And I'm going to pop one just up here like this and then another one just in here like this and come on then there we go and then one down here like this you could pop another one down here if you wanted to but I'm just kind of wanting to bring the eye around the greeting so that is our first card of this week using the stippled roses set and I will be using this set for the rest of the week um, so I hope um, that I will inspire you to get this set and use it and love it as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching and let's create together again soon.